I like Beyond Gravel because it's a little more peaceful than pavement normally. It's a really great way to experience nature and, and just kind of being away from civilization. You're away from traffic, you're, you're in the forest. You go so that you see a lot. I mean, mountain biking is just as fun, trail running is just as fun. They're all kind of the same thing, but on the gravel, you just go to places you don't normally see. We are at the Public Lands Ride at Black Shannon State Park and Moshannon State Forest. It's a gravel bike ride. A fun, energetic ride to raise awareness about public lands, all the good things they do for us, and have some fun while we're doing it. We've been doing this event here at Black Shannon for the past three years. Folks are out here to, to have fun, enjoy the day. We encourage people to take their time, um, take pictures, enjoy the scenery. Anybody can do it. It's for anyone. There's short options, there's long options, all of them are fun. And the best thing is the whole gang here, Peck, the volunteers, the other riders, will help you anytime you need it. So many folks help make this happen today. We have aid stations along the routes, we have food and water, We've got a pierogi stop, uh, it's always a crowd pleaser. Yeah, aid stations are my thing. Love doing pierogies, getting people out, getting to enjoy it while they're here, and uh, put some real food in their tummies. So good. Oh, that's it. They're like flavored too. We have an amateur radio club from the area that they're, uh, they're providing communications because there's no cell service. We're just here for support. If any of the race coordinators need to talk to any of the aid stations or anyone gets hurt, um, we have the uh, capability to communicate, um, call EMTs, call paramedics, and just help out in general. Um, we've got Matt the EMT comes out to a bunch of different bike events in this area. I do all the medical support, so fix, fix broken riders. Hopefully there are none. My job is to not do anything all day. We have a, a local bike shop out here today helping out with some of the mechanical support. Okay, most tools that we need in here, and I also have an air compressor to do tubeless setups out here, uh, brake bleed kits, and we can even cut spokes out here, cut uh, spokes to length and thread them and fix wheels. Um, we really try to get uh, local businesses involved and have them all come out here so that they gain a little more visibility and also so that everybody can see sort of how everything's tied together with mm -hmm. the economy and recreation. Definitely these state parks and these types of events are really, really good for local shops. A main part of what we do and have been doing at Alabaster for the past few years has been how can we make coffee uh, more accessible and easier to have anywhere. Regardless of equipment, you know, wherever you are, Hackman have a great coffee experience, even if you're in the middle of the woods. I think that's what's cool about gravel is it just, you can just kind of go anywhere. Gravel is kind of a new thing, so it's kind of like bringing a lot of new people to, to cycling. A lot of road cyclists are turning to gravel because it's safer than being out on the road with a lot of cars. And then a lot of mountain bikers are also turning to gravel because it's uh, a little less jarring. The gravel bikes are really hard to keep in stock right now. We've seen a, a big uptick in gravel bike sales. We've got people buying bikes. We've got people buying Pennsylvania-made bicycling equipment. <laughs> We've got people traveling the state, both Pennsylvanians seeing their Commonwealth and visitors coming in. And so with the growing of this side of the sport, um, we really see a need to coordinate. Recently, this past year in 2022, we've started working on sort of a statewide mission for gravel riding. In addition to this event, we do have 10 routes that we've created in different state forests. They're all in areas that are covered by purple lizard maps. We sort of partnered with them on this initiative to create routes. Um, and those routes are on the PEC website. We believe by getting people outside into nature in these places that people will gain appreciation and begin to care about them and you know keep them open for folks to enjoy for generations to come. It's really, really cool. I mean, weather is perfect. People are perfect. It's great. It's such a beautiful day and the, the route is lovely. Thanks, Helena. The first 20, that is probably one of the most beautiful 20 mile gravel rides you can do. It's very doable. It's doable for anyone. And you saw that. You saw people on mountain bikes, you saw little kids. It's the best gravel ride in Pennsylvania. That's what I think. Thank you, Pat. Very much appreciate it.